Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Big Idea of the Week. I'm June Brockmeyer. Joining me, Skip Miller, and this is part two of the interview that we've been telling you about for about a week. Skip Miller, of course, is actually the founder and president of M3 Learning, a worldwide sales leadership training organization. So that's why we went straight to him to talk about upselling. And, well, welcome, Skip. How are you? Oh, good to be back again. It's great to have you back, just so everybody knows, and you can go back and watch the first video, but we talked about the basics of upselling and why really you shouldn't call it that. You can call it that behind closed doors, but you shouldn't call it that because it's going to help you connect with your customers, with your prospects, and get that need satisfied so that they're going to love you and buy from you for a long, long time. So the first thing I want to talk about, Skip, if you don't mind, is what are the action drivers for that decision that is going to make them buy? You know, um, action drivers tie into that thing we talked in part one relative to finding motivation. So um, as a, a infusion soft entrepreneur, as you peddle your goods and services, there should be two questions you're asking yourself. One is that below the line question, you know, what are they looking for? And the second one is the above the line question, what we would call an action driver question, which is what would cause them to do something different. What's going to cause them to change? June, everyone hates to change. I'll be in a class of a thousand people and I'll ask a thousand people, how many people in this room love to change? Yeah. Two people will raise their hand and I'll call them liars. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> work. People hate to change. And what an infusion soft entrepreneur is basically doing is saying, hey, what you're doing now isn't working for you. So you got to change. What's causing that change? An action driver is a question that drives to action, that drives to that customer motivation. What would cause you to do something different? What, what would cause you, what, what would happen if you did nothing? Right. So actually asking more action-centric questions, not just functional fit. We call it, June, the difference between two-dimension and three-dimension. A two-dimension question is a very flat question. What are you looking for? What do you want it to do? An action driver question is a three-dimension question. That's sitting back saying, you know, relative to the next six months, what's happened in the last three months that's finally has said, enough, I've got to do something different. What's caused you? Does that make sense? It does because it makes me feel like you're building a connection. You're digging deep into what really is behind what, you know, took them to your website in the first place or made them walk into your store. So there is some need there. They're already walking in and letting you know you just got to dig deeper and find out what the cause is, like you said, so that you can satisfy it with whatever you're selling, if you can. I just bought a new, uh, I'm, I'm buying a new printer for photos for my home. Now I've been looking for them for last month. So I know what I'm looking for. I know what I want. Well, I just came back from vacation yesterday and I've got 300 some odd photos that my kids and my wife want to be printed. So I'll be buying that printer right after this interview today. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it, what's causing me to buy it is everyone wants to see the pictures rather than the features and functions of the printer itself. Mm -hmm. Action drivers will dive into the cause and, and make the entrepreneur understand if there's enough energy in this deal. And then at that point, you may be able to find out if there's an extended need that may be a bigger printer or something that lasts longer for you might satisfy, right? You know, it's like a roller coaster, okay? If you don't build energy early in the deal, near the top of the roller coaster, the deal goes, oh, I didn't have enough energy. I know what I want. Right. But you got to make sure early in the deal, there's enough energy. And those action driver questions will help you determine that. Perfect. Well, I'm taking notes, as you can see. Um, also, I heard you mention the golden rule, and I'm really excited to hear what that is. Would you share that with us? The golden rule for sales is away equals energy, questions equal transfer of ownership. When we say away equals energy, what we're saying is what's going to cause somebody to, to make a change, to do something different, is they've got to have to be away from pain rather than towards pleasure. Why would you buy a new TV? Latest, greatest, new ones. The one I've got doesn't. The one I can't right now doesn't. Why am I buying a new printer? Because the one I've got doesn't work and it's costing me an arm and a leg and the photos are terrible. That away energy, away from pain, is where your energy's got to be. Questions cause transfer of ownership. Statements, which make us feel good, mm -hmm. 
allow the customer to sit back and go, I agree with that. I don't know what to do with it, but I agree with that. Mm -hmm. By asking questions, create transfer of ownership. June, if you were looking for a printer, what would you want it to do? Rather than, June, here's what the printer does. And you're like, okay, so? But by uh -huh. having you answer the question, I know the answer already, but the transfer of ownership takes place. Well, this is great information, and that's why we were very happy to have you. I want to ask if you have any final thoughts, Skip. Uh, you know, you have an ebook that's coming out. We're going to promote that, and also there will be a webinar. So we'll give you all the information on our uh, Big Ideas blog for all of you who are watching. But any final thoughts, Skip, that you want to say? Again, two things. One, if, if they're confused or anything else, all the Infusionsoft salespeople know all this stuff. So they should talk to their Infusionsoft salespeople about some of the things you and I've talked about to get some more insights if they want to. The second thing, without a doubt, what did you take away from this interview? The term upselling can sometimes be a little brash. You know, it's like, oh, I'm going to sell them this, but then they didn't even come in for this. I'm just going to give it to them. And that's not what it should be. What I take away from this interview is that that need that you have that is going to come back and maybe be a pain later, you can satisfy that if you listen to your customer and that you ask them the right questions and then they can tell you what they need and you can satisfy that need. Is if you right? say that that was satisfied for you, would that be important to you? Yes, it would be. We can do that. Yeah. So That's sales. I did use questions, not statements. Exactly. And you got it out. So I love it. There well, you thank go. you so much for joining us, Skip. Um, again, if you're interested in contacting him directly, check out his website. It's great. More information there. www.m3learning.com. And we're going to see you soon, Skip. And uh, thank you again for being with us on the Big Idea. Yeah, about, about two weeks. I'll see you then. Great. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Skip. Thanks.